Hello and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the drill down donut chart. Now the drill down donut chart is a visual that as you can see is a donut chart. So you can have your own opinions on the effectiveness of donut charts and pie charts. I have mine, I'm gonna leave those out for this video. But uh, what this chart allows you to do is visualize categorical data in an interactive drill down fashion. So it allows you to drill in deeper and deeper into a hierarchy of gate data that you have so that you could start at a category level and drill down to a subcategory and then drill down all the way to a product level, for example, if you wanted the chart to do that. Now it also has some auto grouping uh, capabilities built into it to kind of deal with some of the problems that donut charts and pie charts have and that it's not really a great chart for visualizing a ton of different products, for example. And so what happens when you go down to a level that has more than 15 categories that it has to visualize, it actually groups those 15 plus values, or the values over 15, into an other bucket. So all the values that increase over 15 distinct values here will be placed into that other bucket I just described. You also do have some additional features. This is actually developed by Zoom Charts, and there's some additional features that if you purchase the visual from Zoom, char Zoom Charts, that you'll have the ability to do in addition to the default features. So you can do things like customize the inner and outer radius. You can make it into a 3D visual. Again, you can debate the merits of having 3D visuals. Uh, you can customize the colors and fonts and labels, the legend, the value axes, and you can also customize the auto grouping feature as well and even be able to control the other slice. So that other slice being all the values that are above 15 slices. So you guys can uh, look at this. It's a gr good, good looking visual. It's a nice, but um, again, you can <laughs> determine the merits of this type of visual. But you can also, uh, again, like I said, take a look at Zoom Charts, the company, if you want to see some additional features than what I'm going to be able to show today. I'm going to be showing the free version of their chart. They also have a paid version. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into how to use the Drill Down Donut Chart. All right, so for this example, we're going to be pulling in some product hierarchy sales. So I'm going to go up to the Get Data section here, and I'll choose Excel as our data source. And I'm going to go find inside of our course file the product category sales here. So let me search really quickly here for a file called product hierarchy. Got to spell it right. Here we go. There we go. Product hierarchy sales. That's the one I want. I'm going to go ahead and bring that into my data model that I'm using for this example and select that I want to see product hierarchy sales by country and go ahead and load this into my solution. And I'm going to start off by bringing in a basic column chart purpose of the column chart here is just to show how you can interact with the zoom chart drill down donut and be able to still see how it uh, has cross highlighting across other visuals as well. So I'm going to bring in a basic column chart here where we're going to look at the total sales by country like so pretty simple and I'll increase the size of that a little bit so we can see that now we're going to bring in the drill down donut chart and so we're going to do that by going to the custom visual marketplace up top here and we'll select the marketplace that'll launch open the window here for us where we can search for the donut chart. And as we select that, you'll see there's a few options that have the word donut chart inside of them. We're gonna choose the one here called drill down donut chart and select add. Now, even though there is a paid version of the drill down donut chart, there is also a free version. And so we'll be using the free version here today as I select it here from my visualization pane and increase the size of it like so. You can see there's two fields that I need to plug in here. There's a category and then the value that I want to display in that category. So for my value, it's going to be the total sales. And then for my category, it's going to actually be multiple values. I want to have in here the category, the subcategory, and the product. And so what this allows me to do, and you can see they have a little branding on here until you buy the full version. But you can see in here is you can actually interact with the donut chart. You can see it has these little labels that have already been defined for you. And if you want to drill into certain sections, all you have to do is click on a section, in this case accessories, and you'll see that it actually is cross-highlighting with, with my column chart on the right-hand side. And it's also allowing me to see the next category, in this case the subcategory of data. And if I wanted to, I could drill into the next level here where it says tire and tubes. I can select that and it's going to drill in one more level. The way this also works is if you want to drill back up, you select in the middle and this will take you back up to the previous level or previous levels that you were at. You can also select bikes. And one of the other nice things about this visual is if you do a kind of a hard press, meaning you click and hold down your mouse on a particular section like this, you'll see it calls out that one section. It kind of emphasizes that one section without drilling down. 
So if you just wanted to select one particular section, in this case touring bikes, and you can see it's filtering my other uh, report visual based on that, you can do that as well with a hard click onto any one of these. So if you do a single click, like single click into road bikes here, you can see that it's going to visualize all the road bikes, but if I had done a hard press on it, it's going to kind of stick it out here a little bit and you know that you're now filtering on road bikes. Let's go ahead and go down to the road bike section here to point out one other thing that you have here. If you look at this section, you can see this is every individual product that I have that's been categorized as a road bike. And there's quite a few bikes here. And once it reaches above 15 different slices, you can see it throws everything else into this other category here. And you can look at this other category. If you look at the paid version, if you actually look at the paid version of this visual, you can modify some of the capabilities of this. But uh, you can even drill into the other section here, and you can kind of see how this breaks down even more. So you can, you can drill and drill and drill. It's a nice little donut chart as far as the drill capabilities. It's certainly better than the default donut capabilities that are built in. But that's really it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I will point out to you again, this is the free version, so there's not a ton of configuration you can do inside of the format section. You can see you can turn on the customization, but if you turn that on, it's going to go prompt you to go purchase from Zoom Charts. So I just want to point that out to you. It's a nice uh, little chart. If you like using donut charts or pie charts, this is one that you might want to take a look at. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module. Thanks a lot.